specifically about smartphones, phones, tablets, and so on. And the second, of course, is your phone settings, because your provider and Wi-Fi router, say, provide 100 megabits per second, but your phone limits your download speed, and in reality, you might get 20 to 30 megabits per second or even less. And this, of course, greatly impacts downloading and watching videos, online games, and generally using the internet through browsers or any apps. Everything is much slower, much sluggish, than it could be. Today, I'll show you a couple of settings you can make. One hidden and one that's generally available on most phone models. Look, you'll need to download this app called Activity Launcher. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can also download it from the Play Store, but for some reason, not everyone can find it. It doesn't do anything special, it just gives you more advanced access to your phone's settings. Once launched, it will take a while to load. By the way, I have a lot of videos about this program. There are a lot of useful settings there. You can browse through them, maybe you'll find something for yourself. After all the apps are downloaded, don't touch anything, just go to our search. It's here at the top. You can enter either the full name or a partial Wi-Fi name, or even just part of the name. This is a hidden feature on phones, and it doesn't work on all models, but check. If you have it and it works, be sure to activate it. Look for those on Android. Go to Settings, and here, in this line, it should say, Dual Wi-Fi. It's hidden here. Setting 2. Wi-Fi Boost. If you have it, be sure to activate it. If not, go to Standard Settings, then to the regular settings and find where your Wi-Fi connection is located. That is, it will say, Wi-Fi, there. Tap on it. Here you will find the Wi-Fi Assistant. You can find it through the usual search. In most cases, this setting is simply grayed out. No one has activated the priority of bandwidth allocation, Wi-Fi bandwidth for apps and background downloads. Activate it, and two more settings will appear. You need to switch to two for connection speed, giving priority to the apps you use, reducing the speed of background downloads, that is, all the apps you use there. Let's say you watch YouTube, all the Wi-Fi speed will be given only to YouTube. Let's say you switch from YouTube to an online app or messenger, and the speed will be shared with the app you're currently using. It's very convenient, very cool, and perhaps you're simply lacking speed because you have balance mode enabled. That is, the router's speed is divided equally between all apps. Subscribe to the channel, leave comments, and like it.